new here my name is Kim I just finished up my second year of being a fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and as of right now I am actually moving to a fifth grade position in the fall if you guys saw my vlog a couple of vlogs ago that's the game plan for right now and I have received so many comments and messages asking me like when I'll know if that's my position and I feel like maybe I should have explained this better in that first video but like that is my position right now like that is the position I was moved into and so if there is an opening in lower L I've asked to move to it but as of right now like I have all the curriculum for fifth grade yesterday I went in and saw the fifth grade classroom and picked up all that curriculum and stuff so like right now the plan is fifth grade Hopefully that makes sense. Sorry I didn't explain that that well. So today as I am filming this, it actually is Wednesday. It is June 17, so it's actually the same day I'm planning on posting this video. So today is gonna be a busy morning of filming and editing and uploading and all that fun stuff. But I filmed the past couple days and honestly, all of the clips were just like so all over the place. I had a busy couple of days. And so anyways, I just figured, you know what? We're just gonna start over. We're just gonna start fresh and clean and new and I feel good about it already so yay so yesterday I did go to my new school and I had an opportunity to meet with the principal and take a walk around the building and it is about 10 minutes away from my old school and 10 minutes closer to my house so it is considerably closer it's about twice the size as my old building though so my old building there were two sections of each grade whereas this building has four sections of each grade but I'm somebody who is very social very outgoing very extroverted and so I'm excited to make lots of new friends and have lots of kids around all the time. The class sizes are a little bit bigger than my old school and there's just, you know, things that are going to be different, but I did get to see my new classroom yesterday and it is pretty gorgeous. There's not a ton of built-in storage, but it's a brand new classroom. I think it was just built last year and there is some amazing seating where it's like a big window where you can see the playground and some built in like little reading areas and stuff. So I'll insert a couple pictures right here so you guys can see. right now like I said I'm planning on this fifth grade position I don't expect that anything will change if anything does change I would be so excited to be able to move down to lower L but as of right now I'm just gonna plan on fifth grade so it was really nice to meet with the principal and have some of my questions answered be able to get the curriculum be able to see the room and all that fun stuff and then yesterday night I actually went to a little get-together with some of my new co-workers so that was super fun everyone was so nice and so welcoming and I just had so much fun like I didn't want to leave I wanted to just keep hanging out with them so hopefully I'll be able to get together with them again later this summer and then I've reached out to some other teachers in the building who weren't at that event weren't able to come they were doing other stuff and I'm gonna get together with some other of my new co-workers next week so it's gonna be nice to like get to know new people and I'm definitely a very social person so I'm excited just to meet new people so in today's vlog I want to show you guys I got my new MacBook if you guys saw my last vlog I talked about how I ordered one because my old MacBook was on its last leg and it actually came in one one single day which is wild to me so it's already here I was playing around with it a little bit last night so I'll show you guys that and then I'll show you a little haul of some things I picked up over the last few days and I need to pack because tomorrow I am leaving for Cleveland Ohio to go hang out with my sweet friend Morgan who is the beach classroom here on YouTube and on Instagram and my friend Chelsea is driving up from Cincinnati and she is teaching in pearls here on YouTube and Instagram they came and visited me in Michigan last year and now it's my turn to go visit Morgan so I am so excited but I haven't started packing yet we'll do that together this morning and yeah I think it's gonna be a really fun day so yeah 
Let's just jump right into the vlog, you guys. Let's just do it. Okay, so now it is lunchtime, and I just heated up my dinner from last night, so just leftovers, but this is the Trader Joe's spinach tortellini. It's super yummy, and then I just put Alfredo sauce on it, and then I'm watching my friend Emma's last video. This actually was posted back in April, but I realized I never saw it somehow, so I'll link her channel below. She is a first-year teacher. She's gonna be a first-year teacher this fall, and she's just super cute. She's the same one who makes stickers, so it's kind of hard to see because you're just seeing like me in the camera because <laughs> it's kind of bright but that's okay so I just imported all of the footage that you've seen so far in this vlog and then I wanted to show you guys I ordered some stickers and a case for my new MacBook this is still my old MacBook right now my new one is right over here, so yay, super excited about that. But I ordered some stickers and then a new case, and I'm really excited to just get, you know, something new. So the first sticker that I got, and these are all on Etsy, is from the brand Stuck on Michigan, which I actually followed them on Instagram. And so I saw this, and I thought that was so, so, so cute. And then I ordered some from Emma. So her Etsy is made by Emma K, and she also sells on Redbubble, too. And I just ordered a few of her newest stickers. So a cute little rainbow one. This I love. It's a black cow print sticker, which I'm like, how stinking cute is that? And then this one says, you are loved. I also got this one from the Honey Canvas that says, empowered women empower women, which I love that saying. And then I got this one from Just Add Sunshine Ink, which says, I love to read. I think that's super cute. And then this is the last one that I got. And I actually got the bottom one. There's like two different ones you can see on there. But it's basically just like hearts in different shades or different like skin tones. And I thought that was just a really neat sticker. And also the donation is going to the Black Lives Matter Foundation, which is awesome. So yeah, those are all the stickers that I got. And then I did order a new mask on here recently too. It hasn't come in yet, but yeah, I ordered that. Actually a few weeks ago, I feel like now at this point. I ordered that, let's see, yeah, May 31, but that hasn't come yet, so hopefully it comes soon. This is my new MacBook, so let's open it up. It is beautiful. It still says Kim Adams, which is my maiden name, <laughs> but that's okay. I just downloaded this cute little desktop background off of Pinterest, and then it's like so much skinnier than my old one. So this is my old one, and this is a sticker from Emma as well, but yeah, this is my new one. And it's crazy because like it doesn't have anything on the side like I'm so used to my old one has you know like two USB ports and then you know a card reader and all sorts of fun stuff and this has like nothing so I ordered a little adapter thing or like a little card reader that also is like a USB adapter that will plug into this port right here but honestly I like didn't even know that was a thing so that won't be here until like Friday so I'm not gonna take this on my trip because I don't have like the case or anything yet but it does have this really neat touch ID so then it just logs me in and I haven't really downloaded a whole lot yet I did add some fonts that I had on TPT that I had downloaded like onto my other MacBook that I wanted it on here as well and then this is clean my Mac which is a program that you have to pay for but I do like having it because it tells you like what's taking up space on your computer basically and then I downloaded Final Cut Pro X which is the editing software that I use and Google Chrome other than that though I really haven't done a whole lot but it's here I'm excited to have it and yeah so that's the new MacBook yay it's seriously so light and so beautiful <laughs> So I thought I would take a second and show you the curriculum that I picked up yesterday, just in case you're curious. Picked up both of the Math Expressions Teacher's Manual, so Volume 1 and Volume 2. And I am somewhat familiar with the 5th grade math because I actually tutored for 5th grade this year. One of my former 4th grade students, when she went into 5th grade, I tutored her this year. And so I kind of read up on this and I actually downloaded all of the pages online onto my Google Drive. So I actually already have a digital 
digital version of these but I thought it would be nice to have like the hard copy version as well and then we use reading street curriculum I only grabbed the first manual because there are so many we have five weeks in here and then a sixth week of review so every six weeks we have a new book so there are a lot of these so I just grabbed the first one just to kind of start going through it and then I should be able to access the other ones online at some point I might have to do some calling around to make sure that that's all set up for me because I did check it recently and I still have the fourth grade books online so I'll just need to make sure they switch that to fifth grade but yes here is the reading street book and it does look like there's like some post-its and stuff from previous teachers in here so I always find that really helpful from teachers who hi Jack <laughs> from oh no you don't need to lay on that that's not for you I always think it's helpful to see teachers notes who have like taught using this book before and then also I grabbed the social studies book I wanted to find one of the kids books too but I didn't see one so we use social studies alive sort of Jack is really very curious about what I'm doing so let me set this down so we can talk <laughs> is that comfy so my district like many districts really focuses heavily on math and ELA and sometimes science and social studies kind of fall to the back and I know at my old building we didn't really utilize our social studies books all that much I pretty much made everything that I taught or I got it from other teachers who shared what they had so like lesson plans or different you know resources and stuff like that so I don't know exactly how much I'll be using this textbook to be completely honest with you. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking this summer about what social studies and science are going to look like in my classroom in the fall. Also, while I have you guys right here, I got a couple orders in the mail the other day of some books that I had ordered. So I had my order from first book that I ordered a while back got split up into two shipments. So I think I showed you guys the first shipment in one of my last vlogs, but then I got some more books that came in. So I got two of these books that are are not by Mo Willems but they're like the Elephant and Piggy Reads series so or Elephant and Piggy like reading so it says that and it's like the same size as an Elephant and Piggy book so the first one that I got was the Cookie Fiasco which is a really cute one I've read that one before and then I haven't read this one before but it just looked too cute to pass up it's called the Itchy Book so I'm really excited to have that one and then also this one was on sale for $1.99 this is Mother Bruce instead of Mother Goose which looks so stinking cute so actually all of those books were $1.99 so I was really excited to get those and then also I ordered some books from thrift books and I had a few other ones that haven't come in the mail yet so when those do come in the mail I definitely will include those in a future vlog but for now I got Stella Luna which I already own a paperback version of this book but it was only a few dollars for the hardcover so I could not help myself to get another version of it that will just hopefully last a little bit longer and then I also got this book which is called The Empty Pot and I got this one because I did the get your teach on virtual K through 2 conference so I have access to those videos until the end of the month and so I've slowly been working my way through those and one of the sessions that I watched actually two of the sessions that I watched were about how to use picture books to teach just a variety of different skills and lessons in the classroom and that session or those two sessions were by Naomi who is read like a rock star and Lanisha who is education with an apron or apron education depending on the platform Platform. and this is one of the books that they talked about and I just said I, immediately I'm like I need to have that so I'm really excited to have this and use it in my classroom so now I think what I'm gonna do is go grab one of my little suitcases or like a weekender bag I'm not sure which and I'm gonna work on packing so I will bring you guys with me I have no idea what I'm gonna pack yet but we'll figure it out together so let's go Jack is still with the textbooks Hey guys, so now I am going to work on packing my suitcase. I am just gonna take a whole suitcase because I'm driving anyway, so it's not like I have to like check any luggage or anything, so I might as well overpack and have lots of options to choose from. <laughs> I also have a big pile of laundry by me over here because I did a bunch of laundry this morning. I have some more clothes in the dryer right now, so I might add some more stuff to this later, but I figured we can start packing and see like a little bit of it, see what happens, and then I can always add more stuff later. For some reason, Jack thinks that he gets to come to Cleveland too. <laughs> so now all my clothes will be covered in cat hair. Thank you for that, Jack. <laughs> 
but we're getting close. I am not quite done packing, but I have a nice mix right now of like t-shirts and jeans, so like more casual clothes, sweatshirt, tank top. I always try to like bring a lot of layers when I go on trips because you just never know what the weather is going to be. I have like a little dress that also could be a cover-up. I have a few different swimsuits, another dress that could be a cover-up. All sorts of fun stuff. I got this really cute pillow for this room. This is like our spare bedroom. And I found this at Meijer probably like a month ago now. But I think they still have it. So I just think that's really cute for a guest room. So I really like that. So the other day my best friend Melissa and I went to Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx. And I thought I would show you guys just really quick the couple of things that I got. But first I'll insert a clip of Melissa and I at Hobby Lobby just looking around in the planner section. This is what I ended up getting. They had half off of their Paper Studio brand, which is right up there. And this is called Agenda 52, and they're just a bunch of really cute stickers. And they kind of remind me of like Lily Pulitzer style prints and stuff, which I thought was really, really cute. So I got that. It was half off, so it was only like $5, which was a good deal. And then also I got these little magnets from that same line. And these are just like little magnet bookmarks. So they're like really skinny. So I'm excited to have these as well. And then I got these really cute paper plates because Class and Contrast on Instagram, who is Sarah, she had this really cute post. And if you guys don't follow her, she is just like really adorable. So you should definitely check her out. But she had this really cool post where she showed how she does her word wall. And she has these really neat paper plates. Now, Mine are a little bit busier than hers, but I think they'll still work. So that might be a fun project for this summer to make some vinyl letters and make that happen. So she said she got hers at Kroger's and then she used gold foil stickers. So yeah, definitely go check her out. I'll show you guys like her main page. Also, I need to redo my nails. Please don't mind those. <laughs> so she is just super, super cute. I love her aesthetic and her classroom. She is just like so adorable. So definitely go follow her if you're not following her already. I think you guys would really like her. And then the only other thing that I got was this really cute little Ray Dunn like cookie jar type thing. I saw this on Instagram, but I don't think I saved it. So I'm kind of sad because I don't know who posted it, but I just thought this would be so fun. I don't do like a treasure box or anything. I actually very rarely give out like actual rewards, but I'm like, if I put candy in here or mini erasers or something and then had this on my desk, I just thought that would be really, really fun. And this was like 12, no, it was only $10. So not bad. So I just thought this was too cute and I just like love Ray Dunn. So of course I had to get that because like I said, I saw somebody had it on Instagram and I just knew that I needed it in my life. <laughs> okay guys, now we are at the end of the video, which means it is time for comment shout outs, which I'm super excited about because I have missed comment shout outs on my last couple vlogs. So we're back in business today. And my first comment shout out goes to Mary from Mary's Memories in Motion. Tried to say that 10 times fast. <laughs> and she left a really nice comment saying that she just loves using puppets in her classroom because I showed in my last video that I had just like a little bath type puppet from the dollar store and she actually said that she lets the kids utilize them and they can make like skits and present with them which is genius. So Mary, thank you for that idea. The second comment shout out goes to Sari Berry. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she said that she really enjoyed the last vlog and that it had some of her favorite things in it. So thank you so much for this. That. And then my last comment shout out is to my sweet friend Jazzy who is the glam teacher here on YouTube and I just so adore her and she always makes me smile when I just get to talk to her or when she comments on my vlogs and all that fun stuff. So Jazzy, love you the most. If you guys aren't already subscribed to Jazzy, definitely go check out her channel. I will link it below. So that is all for this vlog. The next vlog that you guys see will be me in Cleveland or traveling to Cleveland. So yay, I'm so excited to see Morgan and Chelsea. It's going to be so much fun. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you guys are doing well and I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments below. Bye guys! <laughs>